I'm just going to go through the process of um, making coffee. We'll start by boiling water. I have some Guatemalan that has been roasted to a medium to dark roast. What I like about this vendor is they give you an idea of how dark it is and what kind of body you can expect. And it says full city here. So this is Helio Roast, which I can order online and they ship within a day or two. Certainly within the week, I get fresh beans. What makes a good cup of coffee is fresh beans. First thing to do is to measure out. I typically measure 15 to 20 grams for an espresso. So I'm gonna put in about 18 grams. Then I use a hand grinder because it's a slower grind and it's a very consistent grind that I get out of it. This takes about 100 turns. So my water has boiled. So what I do is I need to heat up this chamber right here. This is a hand espresso machine. And what I'm going to do is put a couple of runs of boiling water into it to heat everything up so that what, when I push water through into the cup, I have a hot cup of coffee. Now I'll get this boiling again and put in another round. It looks pretty good. I'll dump this out and I'll fill this. And I'll also preheat the glass that I will drink out of. This has been finished. I'll get everything through. And I do a little bit of a cleanup. Next step is to prepare the bed for the espresso machine in which I am first leveling, getting clumps out, and then we want it all to be level. And so when water comes through, it's gonna come through evenly. And then finally I have a tamper, which basically I press down on in order to compress the puck. This is the bed of coffee ready for the espresso machine. We'll dump these and we're ready to uh, make our espresso. We're going to measure both time and weight. And I am ready for hot water. I want to get around 50 grams out of a 20 gram uh, dose. And this process is one of pre-infusion where I'm slowly letting water onto the bed and I'm raising the plunger. So the first few cycles are just getting the pressure up. The puck is being saturated and after that it will squeeze the water through. And my preference is this very high degree of resistance. Not everybody feels that way, but I tend to find that this yields a great tasting espresso. It's, it's a slow grind. Some people want to do it in 30 seconds. This is over a minute, and I've found that it doesn't matter. <laughs> so I'm at 50, and there you go. I have a cup of espresso here. But let me test. And let me taste. Ah, it's nice.